Would you like that chair or would you like me to move it out your way? No, I, I'm thinking about the microphone. Last time I used this microphone, it was way off base somewhere. And I have no idea whether anybody heard me. Can you hear me no, now? No, no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fond recollections. We were afraid of air raids, Hitler, wet feet, or breaking anything. Dogs we didn't recognize, catching our death of pneumonia, polio, or other contagious illness, bee stings, blackouts, black people, wasp nests, tramps who came to beg any grade lower than a bee. Poison ivy, copperheads, red sumac, the doctor with his needles and gag sticks. Miss Jones, the teacher with eyes like a hawk, forever playing favorites. A new pet every week and a new goat as well. We feared the Roxy Tavern. Rough drunks, stinking of boiler makers, lying in wait for little girls grocery shopping because their mothers send them with lists. Mr. Nugent, who took children for rides in his Cadillac convertible top-down, don't ever ride with Mr. Nugent. <laughs> we were warned. Afraid of losing our quarters for war bonds, of failing of falling in a brickwork, glass, broken steel shard and concrete world of Tommy Masters, the bicycle bully, who wrecked other bikes, especially girls, without ever damaging his own. <laughs> then Germans, Russians, Italians, and Japanese. The choking smog from rivers and mills causes bronchitis. Hands that slapped your face before you saw them coming. Lying. Curfew. Yes, we had no bananas, butter, eggs, or meat. We were afraid of crossing the streetcar tracks. Any friends of the creaking door? James Carey, George Raft, and pistols. Old Mrs. Stansbury's daughter, Peg Osborne, who cut her hair short like a man's and never rode in her husband's car. The only antique Ford Model A still running. Horse race. Come on, nose in behind the spirits in the sky. It will tell you its name, though through slobber and froth, it give you no distance to the finish line. Only a minuscule awareness. This is the way to greener pastures, and there are nine gates. None for parents or peerage, and maybe one for the dog. Go on, maneuver the outs to the outside lane among your lookalikes. They will fight to rein you in while something else whips you to gallop faster. The odds are not in your favor. 
You will be wrong either way when you find yourself surrounded, hemmed in between hundreds of hooves, between this instant and the next. How do you find a space to win? Can you remember a moment when you truly saw the gates open? Heaven's portal cheering you to go, go, go? Forget clover meadows, one narrow slip between race mind and no mind, one tiny line where the silk splits. I want to win blue. Break the ribbon, see the elephant with eyes larger than its own. Toss my flowers in the pond. I'll let you pass. I want to be the one who comes in last. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.